हाय फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक तो फ्रेंड्स अभी की न्यूज है बाइडेन प्रॉमिसेस कॉन्सिक्वेंसेस फॉर सऊदी अरेबिया फॉलोइंग डिसीजंस टू कट ऑयल प्रोडक्शन तो ये तो सभी को पता ही है न्यूज का पर देखते हैं अब कॉन्सिक्वेंसेस क्या है अगर ये शेयर करने क्योंकि वो अभी तक हमें नहीं पता है पर कुछ तो होगा ऐसे लग रहा है तो वीडियो शुरू करते हैं वीडियो शुरू करने से पहले अगर आप चैनल पर नए हो और आपने अभी तक सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया है तो जल्दी से पहले सब्सक्राइब के बटन और बेल आइकन को क्लिक कर लो ताकि आपको हमारे सारे न्यू वीडियोस के नोटिफिकेशन मिल जाए जैसे हम अपलोड करें और हमारे दूसरे दो चैनल्स जो हैं उनको भी सब्सक्राइब कर लेना उनके लिंक से डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में ताकि आपके जो वीडियोज रिक्वेस्ट करते हो कई उन चैनल्स में भी आ रहे हैं अगर आपको वीडियो पसंद है प्लीज लाइक एंड शेयर चलिए शुरू करते हैं डिप्लोमेसी इज अ राधर ट्रिकी गेम यू नेवर नो व्हाट्स कमिंग नेक्स्ट वन मोमेंट लीडर्स ऑफ टू कंट्रीज आर हगिंग इट आउट and the very next they are up in arms <laughs> take joe biden for example the american president was spotted fist bumping with the saudi crown prince mohammed bin salman mm. this was less than 3 months ago mm. and now <laughs> he's promising to punish the kingdom in an interview to an american broadcaster biden said there are going to be some consequences for what they've done with russia they here <laughs> stand for <laughs> saudi <laughs> arabia So what did they do with Russia? Most of you already know the back story by now, but I'll quickly run you through the events. It all began on the 5th of October. The organization of the petrol exporting countries along with Russia announced that it would cut its oil production by mm. 2 million barrels per day. Mm. And like most of you already know this, the grouping is called the OPEC plus and it is led by Saudi Arabia. So Riyadh is obviously defending the decision. It says the call was purely economic. The kingdom's oil minister said and I quote, OPEC plus members acted responsibly and took the appropriate decision. You can't say responsibly over here. Yeah? The United States however is not convinced. It believes that the oil cartel's decision was quote and quote against the interest of American people. American kyun do? Now what has the number of oil world. barrels world, got yeah. to do with Americans? simply put rising consumer prices it's basic economics a fall in oil production will amount to a rise in oil prices mm -hmm. and that is the last thing america needs right now the world One, needs right now there is an impending recession and this is something we will elaborate on in a bit but most the world may are recession biden is upset about yeah. rising oil prices ahead of elections crucial elections the us midterm polls mm -hmm. are due this november mm -hmm. and the us president knows that unhappy voters can be unforgiving okay so that settles the anti us bit but why is biden hinting at a collusion with russia you see western analysts like to highlight how the fall in oil production will lead to a rise in oil prices okay. which would invariably add to the revenue of oil producing countries mm -hmm. now russia is a major oil producer and critics say that russia is using oil money to fund the ukraine war yeah. mm. and that is how the opec plus decision is being seen as anti american and pro russian pro russian be our anti world like this the white house said that it will be reviewing ties with saudi arabia mm. the spokesperson for the us national security council said and i quote again we're not announcing a formal policy review here with a special team or anything like that but what we're talking about is the president's belief that the relationship needs to be reviewed mm, sure. mm. and you already heard what biden had to say he did not elaborate what exactly he had in mind but instead said and i'm quoting again i'm not going to get into what i'd consider and what i have in mind but there will be consequences that's what made headlines So no. quite a mixed signal here. There will be rethinking and reviews, but there will not be a formal policy announcement. जो भी है, they're not going to tell you the whole truth. But at the same time, we don't know what the Biden administration is considering at the moment. What are these consequences? Let me explain. You see, America's ties with Saudi Arabia have not been the best under Joe Biden. Remember, he even campaigned on the promise of making Saudi Arabia a pariah state. He said his administration will make Riyadh pay for the assassination of journalist Jamal ah, Khashoggi. Uh -huh. But when Biden was elected president, he flew down to Riyadh to offer an olive branch to the Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman (MBS). He even did a little fist bump, an image we've seen repeatedly. And now, three months on, he wants to do a complete U-turn. The relationship between the two countries can best be defined as one for security. 
Let me explain. Saudi sells oil to the US and America sells arms. And that brings me to my next question. Can the US stop selling weapons to the Saudis, freeze arms sales completely? Well, some Democrats are already demanding that. But will Biden oblige? One must realize that this is not a Trump White House that we are talking about. There is already a gap in amity between the two parties. For one, there is no open praise for the kingdom or any flaunting of arms deals. Mm -hmm. Some analysts say that recent that. developments could lead to a point of no return. Mm -hmm. Now to give us some deeper insight into what one can expect in the coming days, I just caught up with Ahmed Al Ibrahim. He is an expert on Saudi-US relations. Sure. He joined me from Riyadh earlier this evening. I asked him about how can we expect Saudi Arabia to respond to Biden's remarks. And this is what he had to say. And, and very short, we are used to this kind of language from the Obama era and nothing happened. Uh, Obama was the, as much as he was against Saudi Arabia, he's the most American president that he had. Uh, he actually visited Saudi Arabia, two of them <coughs> is actually to apologize and uh, apologize uh, we are used to it. Uh, this is some an assessment uh, that uh, uh, Biden is, uh, he, he took initiative and he said it for the local consumption. As you know, and your viewers know, that yeah. we are approaching the midterm election and the OPEC oui. plus reduction came well, the in such a time. Oui. Not oui. to oui. politicize any American uh, or anything to do with America. It is basically pure for the interest of the OPEC plus, but it did not resonate well with the internal politics of, uh, of the United States, especially the Democratic Party and the extreme left. And we are used to it. I'm sure when you go back and he sits with his... Uh, a national security advisor and his cabinet and the people who really matters and really know what kind of relationship Saudi Arabia has and the United States, they will definitely shy away from this kind Ooh, of uh, okay. statement. You heard him. He clearly says that Saudi Arabia is used to this narrative since the Obama era. Ooh, okay. Now here's the next big question, something that should interest our American viewers more. Mm. What does this turn of events mean for Biden? For starters, it is a diplomatic failure. All that jetting in and out of Riyadh, the fist bump, all of it clearly amounted to nothing. It is a foreign policy failure for the Biden White House. In fact, the one American of its many foreign Indian policy failures. For and it comes too close to the hasty exit from Afghanistan. Or even for that matter, the escalation of tensions with Russia. Point number two. Rising oil prices could mean an electoral defeat for Joe Biden. It could amount to loss of Congress seats. So here's a question. Will a weaker Biden be a dangerous Biden? As he loses votes in the midterms, will Biden try to secure this re-election by waging a war? It's a loaded question. After all, no US president has lost a re-election during wartime. Let me cite some examples. James Madison was re-elected during the War of 1812. President Lincoln during the Civil War. Roosevelt during the Second World War, Richard Nixon during the Vietnam War, George W. Bush was re-elected during the Iraq and Afghanistan wars. So if Biden loses the midterms, what will be his strategy to cling on to power? We asked this question to Lieutenant Colonel Daniel L. Davis. He is a defense expert and I want you to listen to what he said. There's so many things that could change between now. It's hard to say what he would do after if he loses. But I mean, the, the near term Virginia. issue is very clear that you know, there's a lot of anger, especially in Congress, wanting to uh, suspend all military cooperation, stop all military assistance, uh, and basically completely change the nature of the relationship between Saudi Arabia and the United States, regardless of how the midterms come out. So I, I'm not sure that the midterms are mm -hmm. quite as big of an issue, mm -hmm. certainly not on the other side, uh, because they're an issue right now, because the you know, any kind of rise in oil prices means a rise in gas prices, and that is always bad for the incumbents. Correct. That's always bad There's for There's anger in Congress, Everybody. he says. And that should sum up what you should be expecting in the coming days. It's a story that we will continue to track. So friends, the thing is okay that Joe Biden will take actions. And what I will say to me is that why not? Any country who is showing that our oil prices are growing, because they are cutting the oil and cutting the oil. It will not only affect the whole world. And if there is any other president, then what will they do? The point is that there is no difference. OPEC has made a decision. They have not made it. Because they have 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 made it.
अगर कोई और पार में होता तो भी वही डिसीजन लेते तो पहले भी कितनी बार ऐसे सिचुएशन में किया है उन्होंने ये पहली बार थोड़ी कोई कर रहे हैं कि जब जरूरत पड़ती है ये बोल देते हम तो कम बना कर निकालेंगे फिर प्रॉब्लम क्रिएट होती है पूरे वर्ल्ड के लिए और इस बार तो उनको इतना अच्छा मौका मिला हुआ है कि मोर इस टाइप से करें और जैसे ये कह रहे थे कि फिस्ट किया वो करा और उसके बाद भी उसके नहीं चला। बाद जो है जब फिस्ट बम किया था तो उन्होंने कहा था वो तो मेरा मीटिंग का जेस्चर हाँ, है कोरोना वायरस की वजह से हाथ नहीं मिला रहे कोरोना वायरस में बम्प करते हैं हाँ, तो पहले उन्होंने ये क्लैरिफाई किया हाथ नहीं मिलते कोरोना वायरस में बम्प होता है फिर कहा कि मैंने उसे कन्फ्रेंट किया उनके प्रिंस को कहा कि मिस्टर कशोगी की वजह से जो भी हुआ था वो गलत था और साफ साफ बात हुई उसके बाद रिलेशनशिप थोड़े खराब हुई या हुए उसका नजर आ रहा है आपको तो ऐसा नहीं है मेरे ख्याल से बाहर के लोगों को इन्फॉर्मेशन नहीं पता यहाँ पे क्या हो रहा है तो अल्टीमेटली क्योंकि यहाँ पे जो है आपको नज़र आ रहा है कि प्रॉब्लम्स क्या क्रिएट होती हैं जब आपकी गैसोलिन की प्राइस बढ़ती है पूरे वर्ल्ड में क्या प्रॉब्लम होती है सब नहीं देखा हुआ तो ये सिर्फ वो एक डेमोक्रेट्स की बात नहीं कर रहे पूरे वर्ल्ड की बात आने वाली है पूरे अमेरिकन की बात जहाँ पर भी इफेक्ट होता है राइज ऑफ गैसोलिन का मतलब है पेट्रोल राइज होता है तो हर चीज बढ़ती है उससे प्रॉब्लम प्रॉब्लम है दुनिया को नहीं प्रॉब्लम और कौन पैसा ज्यादा देना चाहता है हाँ, और सब यही कोशिश करेंगे कि नहीं हो इसको सॉल्व करें और अगर अब जिस तरह से वहां से वो जो कौन थे वो जो स्टेटमेंट इतना अजीब सा दे रहे थे अब ये अगर बाइडन सुनेंगे तो भैया वो तो फिर एक्शन तो जबकि सऊदी अरेबिया को जो भी इतना अपने वेपन दिए एक से बढ़िया एक वेपन दिए जो भी ठीक है पैसा ट्रांसफर हुआ मगर वो सऊदी अरेबिया को हमेशा यूएस का एल माना जाता है अगर एल माना जाता है तो भी अगर प्राइसें बढ़ा रहे हो अपनी कट डाउन कर रहे हो पूरे और वो कह रहे हैं इकोनॉमिक रीजन के लिए हाँ अपनी इकोनॉमी के लिए ना ये वो बोल रहे हैं इकोनॉमिक रीजन के लिए कर रहे हैं मतलब उनको अपना पैसा बनाना है तो इसीलिए अपने इकोनॉमिक रीजन के लिए आपने किया वर्ल्ड के इकोनॉमिक रीजन के लिए नहीं किया तो यही है तो मेरे ख्याल से हर कंट्री जो है जियो पॉलिटिक्स में अपने हिसाब से रिएक्ट करेगी नहीं और अगर इनकी प्रोडक्शन बढ़ेगी तो खाली यूएसए को मैं तो ये सोच रहा खाली यूएसए को थोड़ा कोई फायदा होगा पूरे वर्ल्ड को फायदा होगा नहीं तो सारी कंट्री तो रेगुलर सप्लाई हो जो बाइडन जो कंट्री के बेस्ट है वही वो कर रहे हैं की अगर तुमने नहीं दिया और जो लास्ट में कर्नल आए थे उन्होंने यही कहा उन्होंने भी यही कहा की इलेक्शन उलेक्शन की वजह से ऐसा कुछ नहीं जो करना है वो तो करेंगी हाँ डेफिनेटली इलेक्शन थोड़े उसकी वजह से अफेक्ट हो सकते हैं लेकिन हम भी ऐसे ही सोचते हैं मगर अगर कोई और प्रेजेंट होता तो वो क्या कर लेता यही करना पड़ता कुछ और कोई और प्रेजेंट होता तो प्राइस नहीं बढ़ती तो क्वेश्चन यही है तो उन्होंने तो पहले ही सोचा होता कि हमने बढ़ानी है प्राइस है लोग यहाँ पे काफी एजुकेटेड है वो देखते हैं पूरे प्रोज एंड कॉन्स देखे जैसे हर कंट्री के लोग जो है समझदारी से वोट करते हैं उनको पता है कि अगर दूसरा प्रेजेंट ले आते तो क्या हो जाता जब तुम्हारे कंट्रोल में नहीं है तो ऑयल प्रोडक्शन तुम्हारी तो ना कहीं और की है बिल्कुल तो काफी अच्छा वीडियो था चलो आप ही शेखन अपने थॉट्स चलते हैं मिलेंगे नेक्स्ट वीडियो में बहुत ही जल्द टिल देन टेक केयर एंड बाय तो अगर आप मेरे इस चैनल पे नए हो तो जल्दी ऐसी सब्सक्राइब के बटन को हिट करो और बेल आइकन को क्लिक करो ताकि आपको मेरा जब नया वीडियो में लगाऊ आपको उसके बारे में जल्दी ऐसी पता चल जाए